Welcome back to the Possibility Storm. I'm your host, Lane. Glad to see you back. As always, this show is brought to you by TCG Player. Use our affiliate link in the description below the next time you pick up some new cardboard with our thanks. This week, some of my crew got together to answer the call of a challenge. This is something that I want to do going forward probably about once a month. Basically, we'll come up with a challenge among the Discord users and we'll build decks around the restrictions to showcase each month. For this month, we decided to go with Popper EDH, which is a viable format in itself. Standard Popper EDH rules are 30 starting life, 16 commander damage, any uncommon legendary or non-legendary creature can be your commander, the rest of the 99 is singleton and all common rarity. I upped the ante a bit by not allowing legendary creatures to be your commander, and we also banned those that were found on the official PDH website, so we were forced to find something original. I set the budget for our list at $100, but that was a pretty high number. We probably could have gotten away with $50. I think I was the only one to go over that mark, but could have easily come in under it. Either way, let's check out our lists. First up is Satella running the Scarland Phrynax. His list focuses on beefing up his commander by sacrificing creatures for value in order to eventually swing for lethal. This is a much more viable strategy given the smaller commander damage total. He also runs a persist combo that can result in infinite counters for the board or use strain effects like Falcon Wrath Noble to do damage over time. I'm up next running a Thunderclap Drake list that is basically blue white flyers with selection. All of my creatures have flying to benefit from the anthem the Drake provides, but most have some sort of enters the battlefield effect that will allow me to filter through my deck to find land drops or interaction. Most of the interaction comes in the form of bounce effects or enchantments that turn pesky creatures or commanders into vanillas. Third, we have returning guest Cryptic, who is one of my mods on the Discord server. Also one of the mods of the Fringe EDH subreddit. Welcome back. He's running Shadowstorm Vizier, which is a discard and Boltron themed commander. He plays cards that allow him to loot or rummage, plays cycling effects, and uses other buffing effects to try and get lethal swings. Coming in last is Alex, running Risen Reef as a Simic value train. The closest thing he could find to compare to Tatiova, he leverages his commander's ability by running a ton of cheap elementals to ramp and draw cards. Many of the elementals have ETB effects like Mole Drifter, and he runs a fair selection of filter effects and card draw spells to round things out. Choo choo, here comes the train. That said, let's get into it. Alright, then I will start about for the turn. I'll play a forest and say go. Let's draw this card. We'll go command tower and pass. Island, pass. Uh, come on tower, pass. Swamp, Viridian Emissary, and pass. What does that do? We're gonna have to ask. What does that do? On There's gonna be all the time. Uh, <laughs> okay. so two-one elf scout, uh, die trigger, uh, fetch for a basic. Gotcha. I'm at I'm at a swamp. Two for a spire out. So one-one flyer, ETV. Look at top four cards in my library. Put them back in any order. Yep. This deck is all uh, selection. Isn't there another owl that does like exactly the same thing? Uh, pretty much. Out. There's there's several of them that do that. Like I said, this is all just selection so that I don't ever get screwed on anything. We'll just pass from there. Sage Owl. Sage Owl is that card. I think that's in it too. I think Augury Owl is in it too. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very much flying tribal with stuff that actually does something when I play it. It will play a Sky Diamond and pass. I'm drawing a tap land. So I'll play a Thornwood Pat <laughs> and pass. Now from experience, uh, playing two color poor for EDH decks, so that's the grand total of all your dual lands. <laughs> well, Commander, well, out. there's the, the regular just tap lands, and then right. the artifact tap lands as well. And I will let go. That's true. Crypt it. I'm going to send two at you. I will regrettably take two. Yeah. All right. I will pass a turn after that. Untap. Draw. Let us play another island. Let us play a Mindstone. Then I would like to tap two more and play a Felwar Stone. Yikes. Oh no. Now that's probably cool ramping. One at Satella. Oh yeah, it's flying. I have no blocks, so I'll take one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Bird with wings. I'll pass. Turns out this is also a nature science lesson. 
I will play another swamp, a Demir Signet, filter into the Digmir Signet to cast my commander, the Shadowstorm Vizier. Pass the turn. I'll play an island, uh, and I'll tap three for my commander, Risen Reef. Uh, when it ETBs, trigger goes on the stack. When it, when it or other elemental ETBs, I look at the top card of my library. If it's a land, I battlefield tap. If I don't put it onto the battlefield, I can put it to my hand. It goes to my hand. Uh, I will go to end step, and I have to discard. Uh, I'm on your end step. I'm going to sack Viridian Emissary to Scarlet Thrynax, putting a 1 1 counter on it. But before that, I will search for basic and put into play tap and shuffle. Uh, I will discard my Rapid Digger at uh, the end of the <laughs> Let's just let's do this, actually. Let's go play a forest. And at two, actually just go five. Or an Airy Oofs. Has persist, it's a 3 3. Uh, I can sacrifice Airy Oofs. Airy Oofs deals damage equal to its power to target creature with flying. Is Lane, let's come at you for three commander. Sure. And I will pass the turn. Tap the things, draw the thing, play another island. Tap for two for an impulse. Yeah, I'll just, um, I'll just pass. Uh, on your end step, I'm gonna sack Airy Oops to itself. Yeah, I'm gonna deal three damage to the Shadowstorm Vizier. I thought you'd go after and the owl. Well, in that case, we'll play a Krov Ikan Sorcerer. Now, this one probably is a reader. Three mana, one one. Tap, discard a black, non-black card, draw a card. Tap, discard a black card, draw two cards, then discard one of them. That's and then cool. I will pass the turn. Bad draw. Palomar <laughs> ETBs, I can look at the top three and put them back on any order. Tap one, to cast Embodiment of Spring. Uh, it's an elemental, so trigger is and reefs ability. Put this forest onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, it says one green tap and sack it to search an for a basic and put it onto the battlefield tab. Tap one uh, to cast a healer of the glade. ETB gain three life and also trigger risen race ability. Goes to my hand. And then I will just pay one to cast Serum Visions. Uh, draw a cut. Let's write it. And I'll pass ten there. Tap. Draw. Go with a Wither Bloom Campus. There's tapped. I can pay four and tap it to scry one. Pay one in a black for an Elvish Visionary. Uh, ETB draw card. One in a green. A Gnarled Colony. Each creature I control with a 1 1 counter on it has trample. Combat. Alex, let's come at you for three trample, Commander. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take the lot. Uh, do you have anything else? It's your turn. Okay, uh, you're on step ball flash on my commander. Never saw that one coming. Draw. Pay two. Cast an augury owl. ETB scry three. It's a 1 1 flyer. It's a 2 2 flyer. Well, it is now, yeah. Keep this one on top, put these two on the bottom. Then like to pay three mana for a sky scanner. 1 1 ETB a draw card. Flying also. Draw the card I put on top. Be sad that I don't have one more mana to actually cast it. Uh, I'm gonna send two at uh, Alex and two at Satella. I have Save. no blocks. All right, that's all I got. I'll pass. Sure. I'll play a Desert of the Glorified, and I'll recast the Shadow Storm Vizier and pass the turn. Hunter, draw. Play a forest as my Lampeter. Uh, I will tap three to cast Updraft Elemental. It's a 1 4 flyer. Trigger Risen Reef. There it is. Designed onto the battlefield. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. And tap. And we'll draw. Play a land. There you go. Elvish Mystic. Play uh, Steve. Steve. Honestly, though, like having a bunch of flyers is stressing me out. <laughs> well, I'm stressed out of the fact that you have that huge board that you can just sacrifice everything to make your guy big enough to kill me. So, even if I block. So, yeah, I think we're both um, going to kill Alex then. <laughs> um, <laughs> For old time's sake. 
Honestly, no. it, that, 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 I thought, I thought you took off some that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I want to go for go for a play. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Combat is lane. No. I'm I'm pointing three at you. How big can he get? He can get up to four, five, six, seven, eight. That would lose trample. Seven, seven with trample. Eight, eight without <laughs> trample. Uh, and you marked me for three already. So, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with uh, declaring a block here. You're blocking with a two-two. It's a two-two. Okay, I will respond by sacking one, two, three, four creatures. Put this up to a seven-seven, and I will tap two, one in a red for Beamer Battle Rage, Ooh. targeting Scarlet and Drynex. Yeah, you know what's funny? I got a mana leak in my hand, but I can't cast it. No! <laughs> <laughs> wait, I wait. How much is mana leak? Uh, Two. Well, can't cast I, it. I only have one. Um, yeah, I think that's enough <laughs> trample to kill me. Or oh, that's 14, everything. Double strike trample. But you yeah. blocked for two of it. That's twelve. That puts you only at fifteen. Oh shit! I don't die. <laughs> oh! Oh wait, wait, wait! Hey, no, no. Um, if you sacrifice that, you lose trample. Oh, right. because uh, I get I get trampled from ferocious. Oh yeah, true. In response to damage, I might as well just take you out. Yeah, sure. I will pass the turn. At the end of your turn, you've activated my trap card. I'll pay one and cast Whiplash Trap. Since you've had two or more creatures enter the battlefield this turn, I can pay one blue rather than its mana cost. I will return the your commander and my healer of the glades to that. <laughs> Wouldn't you have been able to do? Wouldn't you have been able yeah. to do that in response and like yeah. you just didn't kill me? What a dick! What a dick. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, Why do I not want less opponents? Is like no, I understand. <laughs> All right, I'll draw for my turn. Uh, I was saying. And this is why. Time, this is like, why yeah. we always kill Alex first because he always pulls <laughs> this shit. Right. I'm thing, gonna though, play. Welcome. Hello, I'm Alex. I'm the asshole. I'm yeah. gonna play a Helm of the Gas Lord. Uh, which has lots of words on, so oh, it's now it's now a three five. I'm going to tap my Krakovian sorcerer to discard a plague stinger, which is a one one flying infect. It is also a black card, and I get a trigger on here. So I'll draw two cards, and then I'll discard one of those two cards. I will discard an aqueous form. It's another trigger here. So this is seven. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack Swatella. Ah, damn it. Um, yeah, I have no blocks. Before um, move into damage, I will flash in Oblivion Crown, enchanting the Shadow Storm Vizier. Oh, looks like I'm gonna get a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> I'm then going to discard four cards. Are you oh, sure you want to leave yourself mono e mono against Simic Elementals? I'm not leaving it me. I'm not leaving it mono e mono. So this is going to get plus four plus four from the crown and plus four plus four from its own ability. What? How much damage is that? 11, 12, 13. Okay, I have a response for damage <laughs> because it's funny. I'm going to cast oh, no. Snap and return your commander to your hand. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I also cracked the embodiment spring in the basic fires, by the way. Looks like Islane was completely right. I mean, I'm not value gonna... train was gonna fuck us at the end? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Anything else? No. Uh, I'll go Healer of the Glade. Risen Reef Trigger. Put the forest onto the battlefield. Cast Game Trail Changeling. It's a Changeling, so Trigger Reef. The Island onto the battlefield. It's a 4 4 with Trample. Get to combat. I'll swing one at each of you. And then boss. Uh, upkeep. Scry one. See if I like this card. Yeah, that's fine. Unfortunately, though, uh, because I have my commander and the card I just drew in my hand, I have no other plays. I'll pass the turn. There you go. Shadow <laughs> Storm is here for the third time. Go. Lamp up. Lamp turn. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll cast Walker of the Grove. 
The 7-7 Elemental, it also has Evoke. Uh, when it leaves the battlefield, I make a 4-4 Green Elemental token. But the 7-7 that makes a 4-4? When it leaves the battlefield. Uh, go to combat. Cryptic, what's the total power of stuff on your board at the moment? I've got two power, four toughness. Okay, I'll send a 4-4 with Trample at you. Uh, and other Alex, I'm sending three total power at you. Two power, including the commander, yes. And I'll pass. Untap. Keep. And draw. A nice whisper. I'll lose two life and draw two. Forest. Play. <laughs> uh, Alkenrath Noble. And that's it. I have a blocker now. Draw for turn. Uh, tap my. Krakovian Sorcerer to discard Undertaker, uh, draw two and discard one of those, which is just an island two Shadowstorm Viziers cycle a Lonely Sandbar and I'll move to combat and I'll attack Alex for four flying I'm taking it pass the turn I will untap uh, I'm gonna tap three I cast Frost Links. When it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. Uh, that creature doesn't untap during its control as the next untap step. I'll say the Shadow Storm visit. Actually, no, screw that. Um, the thing that lets you draw cards, Crypto. And then it is an elemental, so trigger my Risen Reef. Uh, that goes to my hand. How do you stop Simic Value when there are no board wipes? Uh. You don't with big don't flyer, a uh, big army of flyers. <laughs> that's that's why that's why I'm dead now. Get to combat. Uh, cryptic. I'm sending a seven seven, a four four, uh, and one two three. So that's just fourteen damage at your face. Uh, and I'll pass turn there. Uh, draw card. Go two and a green, for snake umbra targeting. Wrath Noble. 3-3 three, three flying. Whenever deal damage to an opponent, I may draw a card. Pay three, one of each color for my commander. I'll go into combat after that. Six. Three flying. Uh, combat damage trigger. I'll draw a card. Okay. Um, I will pass the turn. Draw to Island Cycle Gessian Zombies. Trigger set of zombies there. Get an island. Obviously, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to attack uh, Alex, the Simic player, for uh, two. Oh no, the damage. <laughs> before yeah, no, damage. No. Before no, damage. damage. I'll cast Frantic Search. Ooh. Draw two, discard two, then untap, untap three lands. I'll cast Mana Leak. Oh. Yep, yeah, take two. And go. End of turn. I'm going to tap three and pay three more to buy back Capsize. Ah, uh, shit. Targeting the Walker of the Grove. Uh, it goes back to my hands, leaves the battlefield. I make a 4 4 elemental token. Uh, trigger Risen Reef, put Quandrix Tempest onto the battlefield, and Capsize goes back to my hand. What's up? Um, in my upkeep, I'm going to pay one to cast Reclaim. And I'm going to put Rapid Vigor back on top of my deck. And then I will draw it for ten. So first things first, uh, I'll go to combat. Cryptic. I'm going to send nine at your face. Elemental game. Uh, the elemental token. The game trail changed me and the updraft elemental. I'll tap this for black. And take nine. Yep. <laughs> Thought you might. How many times can you capsize? Well, I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana, 12 on my next turn. Okay. So I'm going to tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and cast Walker of the Grove. Uh, trigger Risen Reef. I'll add that to my hand, and I will pass the turn to you. I think you might. Yeah, you. The writing's pretty much on the wall, I think. Because you even have a regenerate, right? Yeah, Wrath and Vega regenerates all my creatures. One and one. Or a Mog War Marshal. ETB, make a goblin. And also, sure. so it's when it enters or leaves, make a, make a goblin. Mm. Sack the Wog Mor Mog 
War Marshal to Scarlet Thranax. I'll gain one, you'll lose one. Back two more goblins. Yep. Can you for uh, we'll use Demo. Yep. Come on, aristocrats, I'm out. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I, I was really hoping to be able to keep the airy oofs long enough to get my combo, but I'm gonna go into combat. Do you have any effects? I have no free combat effects. Okay, I'm gonna attack you for three flying. Sure. Uh, combat damage trigger, I draw a card. Your man, I'll place one. That's it. I have 20. And with a calf size, it's guaranteed to get through. Yeah. Yep. Uh, speaking of which, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, capsize your commander. Response. I'm in the, uh, green and black. An infuse with vitality on my Falcon Wrath Noble. Then I'm going to back Falcon Wrath Noble. Uh, trigger one drain. And it comes back tapped. And I'll gain two more life. Then I'll do it again. Sure. One more. And it, Scarlet Thranic gets bounced. Uh, and then I will swing in for 20. And I'll pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, I'm gonna pay for activate Witherbloom Campus and scry one. And tap. Keep draw. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I'm GG. gonna I'm gonna concede. Yeah. What? Well, that wasn't exactly how I thought things would go down, but we broke the first rule of commander. Always kill Alex first. Seriously though, playing with the popper rule set was a good time. It's tricky finding commons that do all the things you want them to do, but it is cool to see cards that don't appear often on the channel. We haven't decided yet if we're going to play these decks again next month, though we might decide to upgrade them or play with more proven popper commanders. Or maybe we'll come up with something completely different. We'll see. Either way, hope you enjoyed something a bit out of the ordinary. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're steadily making the push to that 1000 sub benchmark. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.